Zanuta, and I've been working for Cher as a yoga instructor. I'm here to share with you the joys of yoga and the many benefits that yoga can provide. Welcome, my name is Zanuta, your yoga instructor today. I just want to take you through a beautiful little exercise that you can do anywhere. It's really great for releasing out the lower back. So it's really quite simple. So to begin with, bring your feet underneath your knees in line with your hips. You want to be nice and stable on your feet. Inhale the spine up nice and straight. And imagine someone's pulling you up from the top of your head. Roll your shoulders up, back and down. And first find this nice posture, this nice length through the spine. Beautiful. From here, let's open up the shoulders first. So bring your palms out and then you can inhale your arms up and above your head. If your neck is okay, you can look up. Exhale, bring your hands down to your heart. We'll do that two more times. So remember, turn the palms out. Inhale up above your head. You can look up. Exhale, head forward and hands to heart. One more time. Palms out. Inhale, sweep the arms above your head. Nice and long. Look up. And as you exhale, head forward and hands to heart. Now I'll show you this move from the side so it's easier for you to see. Maybe you can watch the first one and then we'll do a few together. What we're going to do is we're going to inhale on the arms up above the head. You bring the hands to your chest and from here you're going to lead with the heart you're going to hinge gently at the waist and bend gently in the knees and then you're going to float your upper body down to the ground and you relax your arms you relax your head your neck and your shoulders so your feet are really pressing down in the ground you have nice engagement through the quads and your long legs are strong and stable. And it's your upper body that's nice and relaxed. It's really great for releasing that lower back, strengthening the legs. So once you're down here, it's really important just to relax the head, the arm. Maybe we swing a bit from side to side to really help loosen out the back. And then we're going to be gently uncurling ourselves. So we're going to be pushing down through the feet and watch the spine. So you're going to bring all your attention to the spine and gently uncurl yourself, imagining every vertebra stacking back up on top of each other. But you're keeping your arms heavy, you're keeping your head heavy. And slowly roll up nice and straight and bring your chin up. So back of the neck long. You inhale, the shoulders up, back, and down. Nice. So let's try that three times together. I'll face forward for the first one. So remember, make sure you're nice and stable through your feet, underneath the hips. Turn the palms out. Inhale, the hands above the head. Look up. Exhale, hands to heart. Lead with the chest, you hinge at the waist, gentle bend in the knees, and allow your upper body to really fall down and relax. You shake the head yes, shake the head no, relax through the arm. And if it's okay, maybe you swing from side to side. Find some stillness. And then pushing down through your feet, arms heavy, head heavy. You gently uncurl and very slowly imagine your vertebrae stacking back up on each other, nice and straight and long. Your lower back, your mid back, and then your upper back. As you slowly bring your chin up, you inhale your shoulders up, back, and down. And if your clothes are everywhere, you can fix your clothes up. Nice. So I'm going to turn now on the side and we're going to run through that two more times. Remember, this is a beautiful move to do when you're making your toast in the morning or just before you go to bed at night. 
two more times. Turn the palms out. Inhale, sweep the hands up. Exhale, hands to heart. Hinge at the waist, gentle bend in the knees. And float that upper body all the way down to the ground. Relax the head, the shoulders and the arms. Push down evenly through your feet, strong in the legs. And then slowly uncurl your spine, heavy head, heavy arm. Uncurl your spine back to straight, but really slowly, bringing all your attention to your spine. Lower back, mid back, upper back. As you bring your head up, Inhale the shoulders up, back and down. Feels good, doesn't it? We'll do it one more time. Turn the palms out. Inhale, step up above your head. Look up with your neck aloud. As you exhale, your hands come to your heart. You lead with the heart. Remember, hinge here at the waist. Gentle bend in the knees and you float your upper body down to the ground. Relax the arms, the head, the neck and the shoulders. Releasing all that tension from the neck. And again, maybe you can swing from side to side. Really good for releasing that lower back. And before you come up, remember, really push down evenly through your feet. Engage those quads. Heavy arms, heavy head, and all your attention to your spine. Imagining your spine lining up nicely, every vertebra stacking on top of each other. Lower back, mid back, upper back. Bring the chin up, and inhale the shoulders up, back, and down. Nice. So you can do that as many times as you like. Let's finish off. So bring your feet evenly, nicely underneath your knees and your hips. So this is what we call just a mountain pose. So you can inhale your shoulders up, back and down. And see if you can find your balance. And for a moment, for three breaths, let's just close our eyes. Inhale, lift the chest as you breathe in. And exhale, relax the chest. Keeping that nice long spine. Inhale. Exhale. Last breath. Inhale. And exhale. Nice. Open your eyes. Bring your hands to breath. And namaste, which means the light in me honors the light in you. Hope you enjoy this little exercise. It's beautiful for the lower back to strengthen the legs. So feel free to do this anytime, and as many times as your body requires.